Hello everyone, welcome back to Climbing Systems tutorial. Uh, in this video, we will see about uh, uh, climbing up the ledge. Uh, we will first create a trace for it, then uh, uh, we will uh, do the climbing up package. I'll just make a platform for that. That should be fine. On the climb component, uh, create a new function. Room check and uh, call this on uh, hanging. Room check. So this function uh, will have uh, uh, one output. And stand and let it be a boolean. Boolean. Then uh, do a capsule trace. Capsule trace by channel and uh, let the channel be visibility because if, if any any uh, item is blocking us from climbing, then it shouldn't climb. And uh, draw debug type. Okay for. Uh, the start and end take the ledge height make a vector for z add an offset here i am adding it as 100 And for uh, the proper location, get the ledge normal. Rotation from X vector. The forward vector. And multiply it by an offset. This can be an uh, Low torrent minus twenty five, then add it to the uh, the ledge height vector. So this can be both start and uh, in radius set it as thirty and capsule half to it as ninety six. So okay. This is fine. Uh, let, let's see how it looks. Okay, so you, now you see a uh, capsule uh, above the ledge. So that will decide whether we can climb up or not. Now uh, we cannot climb on all the walls. So we have to check the width also. So first uh, do a branch here and connect this. So if there is a trace, uh, the trace is true, then we have to, we cannot stand up. So create a variable, can stand and set it as false. Set it like this. Yeah. When you, you don't need a variable actually. Yeah, you can directly uh, send us a return value, but I thought if in case we need this value somewhere else, it's better to keep it in a variable. Then uh, put a branch here. We need to check the walls uh, width. So that we can do it from our uh, full brace trace. So that will anyways check the blocking. So we can, uh, we will know what's the width of that. So in our full hand, uh, do a sequence here. So the first sequence let it update the full hand variable. On the second sequence, we will uh, okay create a variable. Let's wall 
width and this has to be a vector okay set this here to identify the wall width we can do the, the uh, from the out kit we can take uh, can take the location and uh, minus the ledge location if you remember uh, we are uh, doing this trace from the opposite so uh, if the character is here and the ledge wall is here uh, we are tracing it from uh, from this point to the uh, character Okay, for instance, uh, if our uh, character is here, this is our character and this is our ledge wall. We are not uh, uh, tracing uh, whether it, whether uh, the, the full brace trace is not traced in this direction. If we do it from here, uh, uh, we cannot check the wall width in the right way. So, that's the reason we are tracing it from here. So, uh, we will know where it hits here and we already have the ledge wall location here. So, if we subtract this two, we will get the this wall's uh, width. So, this is how it is calculated. You can see it here. We are putting uh, uh, the, uh, uh, so, we are multiplying the forward vector and connecting it to the start. So, this is for the, that purpose. So, here uh, subtract it from the ledge location and uh, get the vector length and assign it to okay with this wall width is a float not vector okay connect this here so this is done now come to room check on the room check uh, if Ledge wall width is greater than uh, promote this to a variable. You can give the value directly also. So I am just putting it to a variable because you know it will be easier for us to manage. So if it is greater than uh, uh, standable wall threshold then we will put as and stand as true and return node if it is false we will connect it here ok ok so this is uh, the uh, room check function uh, in next video, we will uh, see about uh, putting in the animations for uh, uh, climbing up. Thanks for watching. Bye.